Hey YouTubers, so we're gonna continue with the indentations here. Okay, we've reached the top now. So now from here what we're gonna do is we're gonna start moving our way down. This would be the second layer that we're gonna start. So this coming down here and along the edge would be one layer. Then overlapping that would be another layer that we're gonna add right now. Again, following the same patterns that we first added, keeping the indentations wavy again we're going for that look that that uh, frizzy look and for this layer we're gonna start straight and then once we get to the tip we're gonna curve the hairs this will make it easier to identify the two layers so the tip of the, of the second layer is gonna overlapping it's gonna overlap the beginning of the, of the first layer that we added at the bottom Again, a lot of planning goes into drawing hair, especially with this technique. Again, this this is not the only way to draw hair. This is the way I draw it. And it may work for you, it may not work for you, but hopefully you find it useful. But it's worked for me for a number of years. But there are, there are so many different ways of drawing hair. I guess it comes down to the, to the style that you have. You never know, maybe you may incorporate into your, into your drawings and then build on it, make it your own. Again, I'm following these guidelines that we added at the beginning. This just lets me, it lets me know the flow of the hair and which direction to the indentation you don't need to add them but but to start it's good to add them just to so you have an idea of how hair behaves so just keep adding these again keep them random so you may have some going this way some going down some going straight but still keeping the hairs wavy Again, the, the, the most important part about this technique is understanding what you're doing. And that comes along with your understanding of, of hair. Because it's like, about, like I've said before, you can learn this technique, but if you just jump in there and start scratching and indenting, it's just not going to look natural because each indentation is I'm following a, a, a pattern for my understanding of hair so each indentation is a it's an individual hair and if you know if you understand here you'll know where to add these indentations which ones to overlap which ones are longer which ones are shorter which ones curve because hair is very dynamic it's got it's never straight hair behaves differently under different conditions and that understanding you could put into into your into your drawings like hair overlaps hair clumps up hair some hair is longer some hair is shorter some hair curves upwards some downwards some hair comes up and then it goes under other hair all those things you can incorporate into your drawings and since the indentation is how we're drawing hair we can use those that knowledge into indenting so it may look like I'm randomly like just going crazy here drawing these uh, indentations, but no, there's there's certain patterns that I'm that I'm seeing. So this would be a, like a, a group of hair right here. So I would start here and move towards uh, this way, and then at the end on this tip, it would meet. And then once I start adding pencil. These, this clump would be more, more noticeable.
and that knowledge of you understanding what you're drawing it's not only pertains to hair but everything whether you're drawing um, rocks trees leaves grass whatever it may be the more you know about what you're drawing that the more detail you can add to your drawing because detail that's what it is realism that's what it is it's detail the more detail your drawing has, the more realistic it will be This is what takes the longest, these indentations. But it's always worth it in the end. Because once you start adding pencil, you start seeing all these all this work that goes into. You can use the reference image that I have on the, on the written tutorial, just for reference, just so you have an idea of how I'm adding the hair. So we're getting close to the end here and now these these hairs are going to be overlapping this bottom layer right here so this is the end of this layer and this is uh, the, the bottom layer that we first added at the beginning so now these hairs are going to overlap these hairs at the bottom so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend a couple of these hairs Just go back and just add a couple random ones. Okay, we'll go back to the top and just finish this one one last layer. But this one, I want to make it a bit longer. I want to make these hairs a bit longer. Same method, like same same wavy hairs, but just longer. So this is the second hair, and then the third layer is this one here. So these hairs, once we start here, are going to overlap these ones. Now, a lot of people have problems drawing hair. Even though it's, it's a tedious process, drawing it I just love uh, there's something about drawing hair and the way it looks when you're done that I, I just love the whole process I think most people find it intimidating because they see like individual hair so they think that they need to draw every little hair and you're not drawing the hair you're just giving the illusion that's what's important giving that that the right illusion of hair And this technique helps it helps with it. I 
I suggest you watch like previous videos that I have so you get more of an idea of, of this whole technique and what goes into it and what's what I recommend and be somewhat uh, give you some more advice on on how to make it look good. Again, you're seeing the technique right now, but it's not just a matter of just going in and, and like indenting the paper. Over time, the more you use it, the easier it'll be for you to, you'll easily see patterns. You'll see where to add the indentations. So make it, it'll, it'll make it easier for you to, for you to recognize the clumps of hairs or which, which hair go over, which ones are under, which ones you should add, they should go over. You'll be able to see how it would look once you have pencil, once you start adding pencil. But that'll come with with time, and the more you practice, the easier easier it will become. I know it may sound weird, but study hair, like study. Go on Google and just search for pictures of, uh, of hair and just look, just study it. Look at look how it behaves. Look at what makes it hair. And you'll you'll notice that it's like I said, it's very dynamic. And as your drawing increases in scale, like you you would you'll be able to add more detail because you you'll have more area to uh, to add indentations. So, so now I'm going down downwards. Once you start in pants, it's like it's like magic. It's like you see all these little hairs just pop up, and I just love that that part. Keep the indentations close together, because if you leave too much too much space in between the indentations, that's suggesting that there's a uh, there's a there's a huge gap, and you don't want that. You want like to give the illusion that the hair is thick. So if there's too much space in between the indentation, it's like, like an animal that has, uh, that's losing its hair. So it's very, it's got like thin hair. It's thinning. So just keep the indentations close. But the good thing about that is that no matter how close you make them, there'll still be like these small spaces. And, and that's what we want. Those little gaps is where is what gonna be the the shadows. So we're gonna we're almost done this layer, and then we'll move move on to the next one.
Okay, so we have this layer now. We finish this one. So we've done this layer. This layer down here. And then we divided this one into two more layers. And we did this one. And again, we divided them that one into two. So we have this layer down here going along the edge. And then above that, we have another layer. And we had a, a third one, a small one, that ended around here. And then this one, same thing. We're going to be dividing it into different layers. But for this one, we're going to be adding these clumps of hairs. So when I say clumps, I mean uh, where you have individual hairs that come together and they group up. So we'll have... So you see this right here? that would be one clump of hair so the head was the hair would start going up here and then it would meet here same thing here we could add another one here and so on Again, these are just guides just for me just so just to have an idea where where I may add these clumps so you see you have a uh, this one you have this one down here see we're gonna start down here Gonna start indenting down here because as we move up the next layer is going to overlap the bottom layer so we're going to start here and then as we move up it's just going to give the illusion of layers okay you guys thanks for watching we're going to stop right here and then the next video we'll continue on this final layer and then from there, we'll start adding pencil. So be sure to like, subscribe for, for a notification on the next video. And thanks for watching. Okay, we'll stop here and don't forget to subscribe for the next video.